Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not an Ulta haul. This is like my trash. Makeup and some skincare and some hair care. Let's get, let's get into the video. Oh, 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 Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And today we're gonna go through some trash. Yes. So let's get to it. Y'all know I have a 300 project pan going on right now. That's 300 items. I think we're halfway there, but we will have to count. I will leave the count down in the description box just so you guys know, or here on the screen. Either way, I'll let you guys know where we are. But we, our goal is to get through 300 items. I always place a goal like that because it actually helps me not buy more, but it actually helps me get through things that I already have. I really love doing individual reviews, but I also love doing these empties because it gives you a whole bunch at you know in one setting so let's get straight into this video the first one is the gold bond ultimate radiance renewal hydrating cream i love this okay i got this from an influencer package and let me know i'm thinking about doing kind of like a i'm not picking it up this is the palma christi um castor oil you can pick this up at whole foods i really do like this it is cold pressed and top quality oil. So I really love castor oil. My hair loves it. So sometimes I will make my own concoction of oils. And I love that. I use that for my hair, by the way. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting, Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I like this, but I won't be repurchasing this just because I felt like it was okay. But the Urban Decay All Nighter is my favorite setting spray right now, hands down. I can tell a difference of it lasting, making my makeup last. I can't tell with this anymore. I don't know. Sometimes when you prolong and you haven't used it in a while, you tell you can tell the difference when you go back. But I won't be repurchasing that. Yes, thank you very much. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Deodorant Antiperspirant Stick. I really, really like this. It lasted almost a year. And I really like this. I'm trying to get away from antiperspirants that have contain aluminum. So I, I'm i going to try something else first. And then I I might end up getting this. But it was good. This is the S. Dot Beauty. This is the Angel Glaze Natural Baby Oil. Really enjoys this. The scent is amazing. I want to get this just for my body again. And I know it says for a baby. But this smells good. So I will repurchase this. S. Dot Beauty. S. Beauty, you might have to put this on the women's line. This smells so good and it's so nourishing. And I don't know all the oils that's in here. So it was a really good mix. This is the Lancome Visionaire Crescendo. This is a peeling progressive night peel. Loved this. Definitely, this is in my skincare regimen. I did do a full review on this that I will link down below. But this is like a game changer for your skin definitely if you're having issues with texture if you're having issues with like dark spots it does so many different things if you have issues with acne this is a good product i loved it so much i am definitely picking that up again this is the smashbox primer water i already have one open i completely went through this in a project pan and i'm halfway with another one i really do like it i like it a lot especially if i'm trying to prime and just a quick priming of the face and it's hydrating and it's alcohol free it's silicone free so if you have those issues if you don't want something that's non-drying i highly recommend that one this is the towelettes the makeup remover up and up y'all the kirklands have trumped these i don't know if i want to say that word these are the ones that's comparable to the neutrogena because they do have the ones that compare to the ponds but i really do like these but if I was stuck in kind of like, if, I like the Kirkland ones better than those. But if I had to, I would pick them up if I was like, you know, pressed for them and I couldn't find the up and up. This is the Rose Bright, the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment. I got this from an Ipsy Glam Bag. One of the best masks, like up there with the Corona mask, y'all. These are so good and... I want to see if I can purchase some of these, but these sheet masks were really, really good. That one was a brightening one, and I definitely could tell a difference. 
This is the Embryo Lease. Now this has gone old on me. It expired, so I can't use it anymore. So I did put in my empty, but I used over half, over, I think maybe like less than a fourth is in here. But this is the Embryo Lease. This is the cream concentrate. I do have another one of these. This is great for my clients. This is something like a moisturizing primer. Um, these are really, really good. It's really good. So this is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Wash by Bath and Body Works. Love this. Um, this is something that's, I feel like, a unisex scent. The Warm Vanilla Sugar. Hola. I finished a, this is when it was Coily Hedge Chick, y'all. But this is the bottle. I, I put something else in here, but it was a face oil. But it's gone. I don't even know what this is. So, it was like argon oil, probably like a mix of something. But I'm done with this. I can't even tell you what it is. So, it was good. I, it, I probably put my own mix in there. This is the L'Occitane. This is the Immortal. This is that cream. This is the face cream. Okay, totally gone. Got it, scooped it out, got it all out of the jar. Smells so good. This is the Immortal Divine Face Cream. Loved it. Okay, I already have another one. I haven't opened it yet because I have another moisturizer that I'm trying. This is the L'Oreal. I think this is the Pump, Pump and Volume. It's the one for the brows. This lasted so long. It is so good. It's, it rivals the Gimme Brow. The Gimme Brow is a tidget better than this, but this is so good. I would pick it up. I am trying another brow product from Maybelline, but I love this one. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I like this a lot. I have another one, I believe. I think I have another one. Anyway, I would pick this up if I don't, but I like this a lot. So, yeah. So this is, well, this is my husband. Uh, YSL Perfume, Parfum Intense. The poem is for men. It smells so good. Ooh, that smells good. Uh -huh. I have the Superhero. This is the mascara by It Cosmetics. Really enjoy this. I will forever probably have this and a circulation of what I purchased, but I really do like this as well. I really do like that mascara. It's a really good one. It separates, it clumps, it elongates, and it thickens my lashes. It gives me volume. And this is the bomb on the bottom lashes, y'all. Oh, and I have uh, the next concealer. This is uh, their HD concealer. This is in the shade Tan Bronze. This is something that's my, like my perfect shade. So if I had spots or something like that like a dark spot like i do down here this is what i use but this is i think this went bad on me because when you have too many concealers and you're trying to go through them this just went bad on me and you can tell when it starts getting that thick moussey consistency these are, are have gone bad and these go bad quickly oh uh, they dry out quickly so yeah okay guys that is uh, my trash thanks so much for trash talking with me and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, amazing day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.